So this is a reference of a mole rat, and I'm going to use it to base my circle alien character, which is going to be an alien mole ratish kind of character. But these are fun, fun animals to work with. Here's my circle. I already drew it out very carefully. It was um, done on the computer, so it's a perfect circle. Uh, let's see about putting it together as a alien character. So first of all, I would like to sort of get my bearings here, put my, whoops, that was from the other drawing. Uh, switch over to a pencil, not the brush, and we're going to have a nice, that's uh, about right for the curve. Now I want to use that curve to put my eyes, my mole eyes, which I'm going to put here, little, little tiny mole eyes like that. And between them, I'm going to put this nose. And then I would like to put the mouth here. with some big teeth. All right, so let's get rid of that line there and we can now uh, work on the mole rat. Uh, so we're gonna give him some kind of lips here. Mm, it's gonna be like an alien, so he's not gonna be really a mole rat. So there we have some, some teeth. Now I want to give them some big old arms. Because I kind of think he could use some big arms. Some nice big. Uh, little hands here. And then I want some feet. And little, well that was his legs, little feet. So we have his little feet here. A kind of little claws at the end of his feet there. So a little alien mole rat. So, um, He's looking pretty good. What I think a mole rat needs, though, is some glasses. So we're going to stick a pair of glasses on him. Uh, I don't like the shape of those glasses, so I'm going to erase them. And I'm just going to go back and make them a little less wonky looking. So, and then I'm going to make some, make that look a little more like a nose. And then we're just going to put these out a little bit. Nice big glasses. I don't know if I want, I don't think I want those glasses a little bigger than that. So I am going to go even bigger with the glasses. Than that. I just want to be really super big glasses. There we go. That's more of what I wanted. Ugh wonky looking glasses. I want to make it. Uh, like I said in the other video, the ones, there we go. That looks kind of good. There we got a little. There we go. That's looking better. And then I can make kind of a little thickness here for his glasses. Like so. Oh yeah, now he's looking like a mole rat. And then I'm going to reduce the size of his 
pencil. And then I want to make some kind of furriness here. Now when you add fur to an animal, you don't have to make every single strand of fur. You just got to make it look furry-ish. And you'll be able to see his fur behind his glasses, so I'm just going to go right in there and make it a little bit furry behind his glasses, like so. And that adds a nice texture to his character. There we go. We got a kind of a silly mole rat character. I want to think I want to give this a double check this here too. Oh, I'll give it a little extra thick thickness there. There you go. There's our mole rat. I kind of would like a little bit of a fur here on the bottom of his arms. And a little fur here. And a little fur here. And now I'm going to pick up my pencil a little wider. And then I am totally going to go over my circle here. And just keep the bits that I want. Uh, get rid of all the bits that I don't want. Because it's all going to be erased. There we go. He's kind of kind of cute. Now I think I'm going to go back. I'm going to make him a little more fur. There we go. A little more fur. He's an alien character. And see this guy has some round. So I think I'm going to put a little round here. Kind of use some color there to really make the eyes pop a little bit. But um, he looks pretty good. Kind of an alien. Kind of the kind of anil you know, animal you might meet up with if you go to a, a weird alien planet, right? Something that'll be kind of spook you, but not too much. Now let's just give him a little texture here. And I'm going to make his nostrils a little bit more like that. And there we have a kind of a goofy looking character. And we're going to add some color now to this guy. I would like him. He's kind of gray. I don't like the gray. I think I want kind of a little brownish color. Yeah, something like that, maybe. Let's uh, kind of get his color in. I'm going to just trace him over a little bit because I'm doing this on the computer. And if you use your color tool, you have to make sure that it stays in the lines. And uh, so I'm just going to go over this guy. And I'm just going to go right over like that. And then add my color. Good work. Awesome. But I don't want the color to be in the glasses. I want the glasses to be kind of a, a nice gray color, maybe. So I'm going to up my, my thickness here of my line. Um, and I'm just going to go over. There we go. Kind of color in the, the glasses so they can be that gray color. Yay. Could I just put a little thickness here too? Couldn't I have? But sometimes you can do with color what you can't do or you don't do with, with your lines. So there we go. Put him in there. Now I want his, his teeth 
to be a little bit white-ish, but not completely white. And I want his lips to be kind of pinkish, like the like the reference we have. So pink, pink, pink. There we go. Pink, good pink, pinkish lips. Is our alien character now? I want to go back, and I'd like to just turn these little white characters like that. And then I want his nose to be a slightly different brown from his, his fur. And there we have it. There's our little alien character based on a little picture of a mole rat. <laughs>